Let's go through the basic steps to prepare and send a simple document for e-signing. From your home screen, click the blue button that says Request Signatures. This will take you to the Send page, and this is where you start a new signature transaction. Get started by entering the email address of the recipient. This is the person you want to have sign the document. We could add multiple recipients, but in this example, I'm just adding one. I'm going to enter a custom agreement name and edit the message the recipient will see in the notification email. Now I'm going to choose the document to have signed, which I can do just by dragging and dropping a document from my computer into this box. This could be a PDF file or a Word document or some other kind of supported file type. You could also use the Add Files button for adding documents from your computer or from cloud storage locations like Dropbox or Google Drive. You'll see several options on the right side of the window. For example, you could add a password to the signed document. You could set a deadline after which time the agreement will expire, or set a signature reminder if the document is still unsigned after a certain period of time. For now, I'll just tick the box marked Preview and Add Signature Fields so I can choose where the signature and other information will be placed on the form. Then I'll click Next. This brings me to the authoring environment, which is where I can add fillable fields to my document. I'll drag and drop the necessary fields from the right-hand pane, where I can find different field types under these expandable panels. Finally, I place the signature field, and now my job is done. All I have to do is click Send. Let's take a quick look at what the signer will see when she receives the document. Heather will get an email asking her to review and sign the document I've sent her. She'll click the link and be walked through the signing process step by step, no account or sign in necessary. She just clicks into each field to enter her information. And when she's done, she can apply her signature, either by simply typing it into this box or with another method of her choice. You'll also notice that once she entered her signature, the name field at the top of the form and the date field have both auto-populated. Once she's completed the signature process, signed copies of the file are emailed to all parties. I'll also receive a notification back in my Adobe Sign account telling me that the document has been successfully e-signed.